Hey, welcome back, you guys. Uh, so appreciate you being here. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name is Nicholas Wilton, and uh, this is Art to Life. Today, I thought I would share a couple things on um, on glazing. Actually, uh, it's I get a lot of questions about this, and I was working on these paintings, and I'm kind of at that stage. So I thought I would. Uh, it's a good chance to just kind of show you. Here's the thing with glazing, and I don't know how you guys think about it, um, but how I think about it is. Glazing unifies uh, your work. And the reason it unifies your work is, you know, you're dumping something on it. You're covering all of it with a certain color. So that makes everything kind of relate because it's sharing that color, right? Glaze, it's like thin, a thin wash of color, right? If it's acrylic, you have water, or if it's oil paint like I do, um, I've got liquid and odorless mineral spirits in it. These are all oil paints. and. And what I love about it is it's almost like you're trying to do something and you're mark making, you're painting things, and it can just feel like um, that, that quality of, of putting things and moving things around and looking at it starts feeling kind of monotonous. And glazing allows you to just kind of cover big areas and it feels really good. And so this painting actually has been covered a lot, coming a little closer, um, and you can see like it there's a quality to it so i'll so you know if i so i can just cover this right i can cover this now these two areas are more related now obviously it's really kind of gross and dark but i can wipe some of this off right i don't want to have all of it um and i i tend to use steel wool a lot you guys um <clears throat> but you can see that there's this quality of kind of, it unifies. So it unifies and it kind of creates, like this is related now to this area. And that's a, that's a great thing to you kind of make the whole picture feel like it all occurred at the same time, because in fact it did, because you're pouring this all over the surface and instantly the whole paintings had the same thing done to it within a couple minutes, right? I just did one little part. But then, then the whole painting feels like that and it can feel too cohesive. It can feel like it kind of gets drab. It gets kind of like all the same, right? This is making it more the same. So it's kind of a blend. It's kind of, you want a little of that and some of the other. And so this painting, check this out. This one's at a different stage. It's, I've glazed this some, but I also have gone back into it and painted it. So it's this, dance between kind of glazing and then painting thick again. You can see there's clean areas in here. Um, this is still a ways to go, but it's, it's at a different stage than that one over there, right? So anyway, just uh, that's a kind of a cool way to kind of unify your work. And if you're not taking advantage of, you know, like glazes, they're so fun because it's the opposite of just painting thick all the time, you know? So kind of a cool thing to explore that might be kind of interesting for some of you guys. So let me know in the comments, you know, how you, do you glaze what works for you? Do you get that? How glazing uh, creates that harmony and do you use it in your work? You know, it's kind of, it's kind of a powerful thing. It's so fast, you know, you can do it so quickly and I love it, it just changes the painting. The other cool thing, and it relates to what I was talking about last week about objectivity, because it changes so quickly, you can see it fresh and in a new way because it changes in a minute. Whereas before it was like days of building up a surface and it's slowly changing. This changes really quickly. Okay, so let me know in the comments, you guys. Um, been getting some really great uh, feedback and uh, on the podcast. And I really appreciate you guys sharing it with your friends and people that you know are on this journey with us. It really matters and it's kind of cool because each week there's more people listening to the podcast and it's just so gratifying. And uh, it just really, I think it's a really great uh, community builder, you know, to share new things and get conversations going. Um, but this week on the podcast, uh, I'm, I'm talking about flow state a little bit, you know, how to work, how to work not necessarily more, but better, more efficiently. Uh, and, and, you know, we think when we're starting out that it's about um, just working all the time, uh, making art all the time. The more we do it, the better we're gonna get and work 10,000 hours and there's that whole thing, that, right? That's the kind of the, the idea, but it's actually not. And, and it's, it's not that you have to practice making your art all the time, but you need to practice 
the thinking that you use to make your art more often. And that's really, really different because you don't need to be standing here doing this to be thinking that way. It shows up in your life and that's what I'll be diving into. So um, I hope you can come along and listen to that. You know, the podcasts come out on Wednesday and you could subscribe. There's a link down below and I'd love to have you join. So anyway, you guys, I hope you have a great day in the studio um, today and I'm looking forward to reading um, your thoughts and comments on this, this topic of glazing. I feel like there's a bunch we could do um, on, on glazing, you know, and, and also I'm doing these things because I'm getting you guys are, are saying, you know, hey, I would love to learn about glazing. You know, and there's so if you're something that you're thinking of that you want to talk about, um, please share that because, um, you know, if I don't know about it, I can find out about it and it was something we can I can share with you guys. So, again, thanks for being here and um, I will see you real soon. OK, thanks. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, let's do this. Awesome.